Okay everybody, I'm at Yamaha headquarters testing out the new ABS version of the 2017 Yamaha FZ07. It has a really interesting seating position and it does look great. It's got that naked style. Not too much of a fan of the front end. I'm not one of those who enjoys the Cyclops look. I enjoy the two headlights in the front. These signal lights do look a little bit funky. But uh, let's give it a chance and see what it's got. I'll be resuming video once we get home, get everything sorted. Assuming it doesn't rain, I'll be taking this to work. If it doesn't, I'll let you know right now. So I just left the clients right now. I took some pictures and we're off to work. Now we're stuck in traffic and it is a very, very hot day. It's calling for about 7% rain uh, around, what time was it? Two or three o'clock and it's about 10-ish right now. So, we're gonna head to work and then maybe after work, if it's not raining, we can actually test this thing out, ride around. Right now, city driving, it's been great. Uh, it is a little bit touchy. So for example, watch this. So I'm gonna slow down to about 25. And it, see that, it jolts. It jolts if you're not careful. And that kind of bothers me, but at the same time, if you're taking this thing on the highway, you don't feel it. It's saying eco. I'm going to look into that. I'm not sure if that's an eco mode. Oh yeah, it went away. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I really want to look into that t for you guys, let you guys know next time I ride. That's really interesting. It says eco. Every so often it says eco, eco, eco. Very interesting. I like the little pull tab. It's kind of nice. It's a nice looking bike. Not, not too much of a fan of the blue, but it is a nice bike. It's a very nice looking bike. The seating style I noticed was when I'm riding and slowing down, every time I slow down, it's pushing against your wrists and I also if I have to do a hard stop I slide up towards the tank because the seats very uh, seats very flat and slippery if that makes any sense the material it might be my pants mixed with the material of the seat but it's very slippery Yeah, when we're coasting like this, there's absolutely no problems with heat, with anything. And that's another thing, with this bike, you don't feel any heat. I haven't felt any heat on my legs, I haven't felt, I haven't felt anything. This is, comparing to the Bolt, this is like, this is like going to the North Pole. <laughs> it's nice, it's just a little warm around the bottom where you're, uh, like underneath the leg, between underneath the leg and the ankle, underneath the thigh. It's it's just a tiny bit warm. Like it's nothing. It's better than better than the Yamaha Bolt, better than yeah, it's better than my Yamaha V-Star as well. Hey, 
FZ Club. Also, while I was riding home, I was riding on the highway, which was dug out. And you know when they're replacing the highway, like the highway road, it's, um, there's all these little grooves and it's ripped up. I had to go through all that and this bike just kind of, it just blazed through it. Like there was no, no issue. I wasn't going too fast, going like 90 and absolutely no problems. I mean, you could feel the grooves. Like the bike was, the bike would guide itself basically, but it was a lot better than any cruiser I've ridden on, uh, on those kinds of roads. Cause I, I find that riding on those, it tends to be a little scary because as I said, it guides you rather than you navigating over that road because of the grooves. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. As I said, aggressive stance. The foot pegs are kind of cool. They're in a nice position. They're upright, but a little bit, but a little bit further back. So it's, it's nice, it's nice. You're sitting, it's like you're sitting on a bar stool. That's what it kind of feels like. It's nice. Have I said it's nice enough? <laughs> what I've noticed is since I'm in a lot of stop and go on the way to work, it does have a lot of low end power, so it's twitchy. As long as you treat it nicely, it's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Well, before I stop, oh, it's already saying needs an oil change. Hold on, how many kilometers does this have? 3,140. And it needs an oil change. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, let's lock this thing up. Oh, one thing I noticed. One thing I noticed before I totally lock up the bike. Let's just leave this in here. When I'm walking, right? Okay, so watch. When I'm walking, oh, oh my God. Okay, notice when I'm walking forward, the the peg kicks up. That's a very nice feature that the bolt did not have. So every time I'd walk with it, my foot would stop where the peg is, and I'd trip over the, the pegs, which was not a nice feature. Everything else was great, but that was a problem. Now this bike totally fixes it, so when you're when you're moving your leg back, it goes up. See that? That. That is professional engineering. <laughs> Alright, let's lock it up. You're not going anywhere. What a beaut. What? Look at this. Making friends. Haven't even had her for a day. That's amazing. Well, hey there Harley. Got you for a week. What are we gonna call her? Do I name you Sky? What do you guys think? Sky? Is that a good name? For a blue FZ07? I think that's good. Sky. So we have Ruby, now we got Sky. Let's pop the key in there real quick. Ooh. Hold on, take a look at take a look at this dash. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, interesting thing. It's not like most bikes. Keep in mind, the FZ07, to start it, you have to pull down. So let me switch to neutral so that you guys can see what's up. That's how you start it. There's no button, there's no push to start button. It's all manual.
The sun's coming out. That's nice. I'm not having any issues crossing the uh, the rail tracks at all. It's actually, it's, I don't mind it. Sometimes I'm scared crossing them because my wheel gets caught in between. Not caught, but it it feeds. It threads into the. Uh, oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Turning into them sucks. Look at look at the front headlights on. The <laughs> Look at them wobble. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Oh, it's so funny. Every time there's bumps, they just... <laughs> I'm gonna touch upon them when uh, when we stop, because this is so funny. What the heck is this guy doing? Bicycle riders, man. Not all of them, but some of them don't know what the heck they're doing. Oh no! Man. Honest Ed's was... I don't know if you, any of you know what Honest Ed's is. It was a massive, massive, basically a buy for less store, like a thrift store sort of, but everything was new. It was just really, really good deals on stuff. Obviously the quality wasn't that great, but... Um, like to give you an idea my mom used to shop here when she was smaller she was in like basically my age and younger this thing's been around a long long time yeah it's crazy and it's closing they officially closed and I think they're gonna bring one of those massive honest ed things that you see right there they're gonna keep that I think the owner wants to keep it just as like a memorial to what you know the the empire that he built and that's all gonna be gone soon it's crazy to think that every time we pass this intersection for my whole life and for everybody around here like that's that's some main thing downtown. That's a major attraction and it's gone. It's gonna go. So sad. Sorry? How big is it? Uh it's seven hundred seven hundred CC. He said, how many speed? And I'm like, uh, how do I, how do I answer that? One little weird thing that I noticed with this bike as well. The horn is placed to the side above the turn signals. That's not the weird thing. The turn signals is the weird thing. They're super easy to press. Like, look at that super easy to press right but they have this tiny little thin knob and I find that really awkward to press it's very easy to press in but it's it's pointy <laughs> I'm not used to a pointy turn signal I just want to take a moment to say that the shocks are absolutely amazing, or the shock is absolutely amazing. I love the suspension. I'm loving it more and more. All these little bumps and holes that I'm riding over, I don't feel any of them. It feels like I'm riding a camel. I don't know what a camel feels like, but it, it feels like I'm riding, just bobbing in water. It feels like I'm bobbing in water. It's so good. It's starting to get windy. So I really, really hope that it does not rain. Okay, we're pulling up to the bumpiness test. As you guys can hear in my voice. Alright, here we go. Uh... <laughs> that was good. <laughs> it's 
Since we're on a freshly paved road, I want to show you the balance point. So check out how stable this bike is. Look at that. That's amazing. Amazing keeps coming out because it is. It's so stable. I did that on the bolt and the bars did a little bit of this. Not a slapper, but it was like a it was a shake, a nice wobble. And that was scary and I never did that again. Reason why I let go of both is to show you how stable the bike is without you even holding onto the bars. That makes the bike even more stable. But this bike will not fall down unless you force it down. <laughs> or if you hit a bump, a solid bump that tosses you. Then in that case, well, can't help you there. Good job. We made it home alive. <sighs> Only two close calls. Yeah, it feels right. It feels right.